The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, presented by Julie, Case, and Hannah. Located in Germany during the Holocaust, Bruno is a curious nine-year-old boy living with his mother, father, Gretel, Maria, and Pavel in Berlin. One day, Bruno comes home to find Maria, their family maid, packing up his possessions. Bruno is confused about what's going on. Mother tells Bruno that they are moving, and Bruno has a lot of questions to ask, but Mother shuts them all out. Bruno and his family move to Auschwitz, which Bruno understood is called Auschwitz. Bruno is upset when they move, because the home in Berlin is bigger than the house in Auschwitz, plus it's smelly. Bruno's mother explains that this is their home for the foreseeable future. Bruno looks out his bedroom window to see something that makes him feel unsafe. Confused, Bruno asks Gretel, his annoying 12-year-old and a hopeless case of a sister, about what's outside the window. Gretel looks outside the window but doesn't say anything. Bruno questions why everyone is wearing matching striped pajamas and caps. One day, Bruno wanted to make a tire swing. Pavel, the family's vegetable peeler, was ordered to get Bruno a tire. Bruno started swinging on it, having fun, and soon finds himself on the ground. Pavel runs towards him and helps bandage his knee. Pavel explains that he used to be a doctor. Bruno doesn't understand how he used to be a doctor, but now peels their family's vegetables. Pavel explains he used to live in Poland and was moved here. Bruno decides to go exploring and walks up to a bench with a plaque that reads, Presented on the occasion of the opening of Outwith Camp, June 1940. Bruno knows exploration at Outwith wasn't allowed but he decides to go anyways. While Bruno was out exploring, he finds himself at a fence. On the other side of the fence was a boy, a boy named Shmuel. We recommend The Boy in the Striped Pajamas to other students interested in learning a little bit more about the Holocaust. It was intriguing to read it from a young boy's point of view and to see what he encountered on his journey through his Holocaust adventure.